Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. Yes, another Effects Friday. Aren't you guys excited? I know I am because today we're talking about one of my favorite things in the whole entire world, green screening. And as you saw from the beginning, check it out. It's not only green screening, but also showing you how to color correct footage and put it on top of even a, this is just a picture, guys. This is just a picture in the background. I put in that depth of field. I did everything. I'm amazing. And I'm going to show you guys how to do everything. Actually, I was just kidding. I'm not really amazing. I'm just talking now. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be providing the sunrise picture. You see that? Very high quality. It looks, looks nice. And this uh, footage right here. So just check the link in the description. It'll take you to ch ch checkit.com where you can download all this stuff for free and uh, give the video a like guys seriously for all all this stuff we're providing and stay tuned until the end because I'm going to be putting all my favorite comments at the end of every video from now on so if you guys want a shout out or you guys want to see your name on the big screen or whatever you guys watch then just leave a comment and if I like it I'll put it at the end so you know maybe sweet talk me a little bit say hey Eli you're sexy or something I don't, I don't know I'm just kidding anyway I'm getting distracted, so uh, if you want to just download all this stuff and follow along, I'm down, but yeah, anyway, open up After Effects, and you're going to have this blank canvas area right over here, we're going to double click in there, and we're going to find the footage that I provided for you called GS Plate, and now let's drag and drop it either over in this blank canvas area or down to this little button down here, that's a create new composition button, and as you can see, you have this nice, it's actually not that nice, it's high quality, that's for sure, but we kind of did this on purpose, check it out. So, you see that we have a three-point lighting system going on. We have a light over in this area, it's a soft box, and then we have another light over in this area casting, it's, it's another soft light, and that's just on the, the two front. So we have one light over here, one light over here, and then one light in the back called a backlight, and that's not a soft box, and it's shining right onto my shoulder. Now, why I'm telling you guys this is because normally after you do that, that's called the three-point lighting system, you, you would also want to light the green screen, but we didn't do that because, you know, we, we know how to key out really well, and I'm going to teach you guys how to key out really well right now. So, <laughs> anyway, if you guys are wondering about the, the lighting, that, that's why I was telling you that. So, here's the problem with this footage right now. I know I don't move around at all in the whole music video, so I'm just going to create a mask. And it's the same thing for you guys. If you guys want to get this green screen as small as possible, you want to cut out all the edges. So with GS Plate selected, we're going to go to this pen tool. We're going to zoom out using the scroll wheel. And then we're just going to create a garbage mask around the figure. Okay, and we're definitely going to want to crop out that really dark area down there. So I'm going to keep going. Now here's where things get interesting, okay? If your footage is really, really bad and you need to keyframe this, then here's what you're going to do. You're going to hit M with uh, GS plate selected or whatever you're using selected. And we're going to hit a keyframe. So we're going to go to the beginning and pretend like my arm goes out here and it goes past the mask. We're going to click the keyframe. We're going to go to that spot. Right before you move off screen, we're going to just, uh, wait, where is it? Let me drop this down real quick. There we go. Right before that, we're going to just click and drag one of these to create another keyframe. And then let's say my arm goes off. Then we're just going to animate the mask around that. You see what I'm, you see what I'm talking about? And it creates another keyframe. But since my footage was so good and so well prepared for, I knew I wasn't going to move and I didn't have to animate it. But if you guys need to animate your mask, that's how you do it. So anyway, now we can get to the actual keying out. So... Go over to your effects and presets and type in key. Boom, there's key light. I'm going to drag and drop it on top of GS plate. And here's where things get a little confusing, so pay attention, guys. You see the screen color? We need to select the most medium green in here, and that would be right above my head. That's the most common green out of the whole thing, at least by eye. And then we're going to turn up the screen pre-blur just a little bit maybe to like 6, 0.6 pixels okay now we're going to go up to view and we're going to go and select screen matte and that gives you more of a you know 
black and white picture. <laughs> that literally is a black and white picture. So then we're going to go down to the screen mat here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make this area as black as possible with me being as white as possible. And what I mean by that, let me just turn up the black a ton. Okay. You see now it got rid of all that other, like the, the, the white out here. But now if you look closely, you can see a little bit of gray on me. So really you need to turn the white down then. You see that? But you don't want these things too close or else it just looks ridiculous. So make these two numbers as far apart as possible, but still getting rid of all the gray and black inside this area and getting rid of all the white in the black area. Okay? And then we're going to actually turn up the screen softness to like 0.9 or whatever you guys want. And I'm going to, well, I'll do that when I turn it back. So now let's just bring it back to final result by going to the view and going final result. And uh, it's not bad, but replace method, we're going to want to switch to hard color. And that just makes it a lot more, uh, just it looks a lot more smooth. Like there's not as much, I don't know how to explain it, but when it keys it out, it looks a million times better if you switch it to get hard color. So now we're going to go to the screen shrink slash grow. And we're actually going to drop that down a few negative pixels to get rid of that edge. And with that, now we have a great key. And if you don't believe me, let's right click, go new, solid. And let's just make a white solid. Oh, I named it white. I didn't make it white. <laughs> Oops. Go here. Let's make it white. Okay. And hit OK. Drag it behind it and look at that key. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Look at that. I love green screening. <laughs> so anyway, I just made that to prove it to you that it looks great. Now here's where the fun part comes in. We're going to go over to the project window again. We're going to double click in here. And we're going to go find the, where is it? The sunrise picture, which I provided. I'm going to drag and drop it behind GS plate. And uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to Composition, Composition Settings. I'm going to drop this down, the height. We're going to drop it down until we see this number turn to 2.51 because that's my favorite aspect ratio. Hit OK. Now with GS Plate Selector, we're going to hit S, scale her down. It's her. It's, it's me. I'm a guy. <laughs> I just made fun of myself. Goodness gracious. Okay, so as you could tell, it does not look good at all right now. It, you could tell that I was green screened on there and that is a problem because we want to impress some people, you know. So we're going to go over to the effects and presets. We're going to hit, we're going to type in curves. There we go. Select curves, drag it onto GS plate. And now we're going to try to match, well here, let's actually, let's turn up the reds a little bit. Let's go to the greens, let's drop the greens. And the blues, drop the blues a lot. Yeah, there we go. And we're just trying to match what's going on there. And that already looks way better. And then we're going to go back to RGB and maybe, you know, make it not as, you know, contrasted. Okay, so that actually is looking a lot better. But we're going to want to, here, let's create, let's right click in this blank canvas area down here. And let's create a new adjustment layer. And let's take care of the depth of field behind here first. So let's hit enter and call this DOF for depth of field. Go over to the effects and presets and type in blur. Scroll down and let's use a camera lens blur because that's what we're trying to duplicate. We're trying to replicate a nice camera lens blur. Let's turn up the blur to... Uh, that might be a little too much. Let's go to like... Let's go to like eight. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so now we're going to go up to this pen tool again, and we're going to create a mask now for the, like right across. Actually, let's follow this. Let's follow this line right here. Oh, I got a Facebook message. I'm so popular. <laughs> Not really. I'm just kidding. Okay. Now, look at that. Just look at that. Oh my goodness, so cool. And I'm going to turn off the mask so I can actually see. But you see how harsh that is? 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring down the mask options and we're going to turn up the feather quite a bit to soften that up and then let's expand it. Uh, and then turn up the mask feather and actually not expand it too much. Yeah, maybe a little more expanded. Just mess with it until you get something that looks like it's depth of field did really nice. Go back to your regular tool and look how awesome that already looks. Goodness gracious. So awesome. Oh, and also, when you do the camera lens blur, check this out. See these edges over here? Now they're not right. Go to edge behavior and, t and click repeat edge pixels. And that just uh, closes up that gap. So... There we go. Depth of field is now taken care of and the color correction. So what else can we do to make this more realistic? Let's go new. Let's do let's do a new solid and call this optical layer. Okay. You guys don't have to do this part, but I'm going to type in flare in the effects and presets. Drag and drop the optical flare on top of here. Okay, and I'm going to hit F4 to bring up the blending options. I'm going to go to screen, because it just looks a million times better. I'm gonna drag the little thing on top of it. Okay, now we're going to go to options and actually put in a good flare. What flare should we take? Hmm. Let's look for a good flare. What's... Russians. No, that's not good. Lens flare. Let's go pro presets. Hmm, what flare to use? Hmm, polar sun. Sunspot. Those are pretty good. I'm not falling in love with any of these. Not for the look that we're going for. Motion graphics. Hmm. Golden sun, no. Light. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want. Sun Digital. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. All right, but let's go to the flicker. Let's turn the speed up to like four and the amount to like uh, 35. Now let's turn the brightness down because it's... It's pretty, pretty bright. We don't want it too bright. Yeah, there we go. You know, just so you have a flare there, it just makes it look that much more realistic. Oh, yeah. I'm actually going to put this down to half just so it renders it faster because that's so annoying. Okay, so I guess the last thing we can do is make it look pretty. And this, you guys can add contrasting if you want. I'm actually going to right-click down here, go New, Adjustment Layer. And I'm going to call this Color. Why didn't it do that? Enter color. There we go. <laughs> Rotation. What the heck? I'm going to drop it below the flare so it doesn't you know, do anything weird with it. Okay, so over here, you guys can type what you want. I'm, you guys can go to color correction. You have all of these tools to work with, but I'm actually going to stick with what I love. I'm going to go to Magic Bullet Mojo. I'm going to click Mojo and put it on the color. And now I'm just going to... Mojo her up. Her. Why do I keep saying her? What the heck? I'm a guy. <laughs> I don't want it punched. I'm going to warm it up a lot. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks like I'm like stranded in the desert or something. How cool is that, man? Different than the intro, but still really cool. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. It looks so cool. You could punch it, I guess. Awesome. I mean, you guys don't have to do this look, you know. You could always do any look you want. But I think I'm going to stick with this look because that looks really cool. Well, that looks like evil. Let's go a happy medium between there. Not punch it too much. Tinting. Awesome. And with that, I'm done now. So, I think I'm going to render it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to render it. Okay, so to render it, just hit Control M with that window selected. And we're going to just do, I'm going to click on Lossless. I'm going to go down to Windows Media. 
Okay, and then GS plate. Let's rename it. Now let's just call this example two. Save. Okay, so now I'm going to render this. And when it's done, I will save this project and I'll put it in the description as well. So you guys will have two project files, the sunrise picture and the GS plate. I mean, what more could you ask for? Please give this video a like, guys. I mean, we just did all this, or I did all this work for you. You guys should be happy. <laughs> and seriously, if you guys leave a nice comment or something like that, or just say, you know, talk to me and make me laugh or something, I'll put you guys at the end of the video like I'm putting all these people at the end of this video. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next Effects Friday. <laughs> Bye.